craziest hot take you're gonna hear of 2023 and probably 2024 right now, okay? Q Star is Andrew Tate. But what is Q Star? And who is Andrew Tate? Who am I? Who are you? Wait, who's asking the questions here? I'm asking the questions here. Okay, let's start off. It was reported that OpenAI staff researchers wrote a letter to the board warning uh, about an internal project named QSTAR, which could represent a breakthrough in creating an AI that could surpass human intelligence in a range of fields. So what is QSTAR? It's a combination of two different types of training and machine learning. It's uh, Q, which is basically reinforcement learning, and then uh, A star, which is sort of search learn. It's sort of learning by searching. Uh, so it's a combination of these two things, which is rendered apparently, according to Reuters and the internal memo at OpenAI, an artificial general intelligence, an AI that's a superhuman. <laughs> Mind blowing. Okay, so now we know what Q star is, but who, who, who's Andrew Tate? Okay, and if you're asking that question, I am glad, I'm glad we're friends, and I hope we're friends. If you're not asking that question, I'm, I'm, if you know who Andrew Tate is, sh shame on you, that's all I gotta say. All right, so who is Andrew Tate? Let's take a look. Andrew Tate, okay. Andrew Tate, I'm gonna go Wikipedia. Andrew Tate, and, and, and he's described as an American British social media personality. You can see him right here. I'm sure you've seen or heard of him, okay? Let's start off with the, the first piece of evidence in this puzzle. Piece of evidence number one, okay? Now, if I look at when OpenAI was founded, it was founded on December 11th, 2015. Okay, and then I look at Andrew Tate's birthday, it's December 1st, I mean, it's in 1986, but still, the difference between December 1st and December 11th is 10 days, or if I break that down into binary code, it's one and a zero. So the difference is a one and a zero. Piece of evidence number two, uh, OpenAI released their first version of GPT, okay, in 2016, 2017, somewhere in between there. Andrew Tate rose to fame in 2016 when he was a participant on the British uh, Big Brother, okay? So around the same time, you have the release of the first GPT out into the wild, and then you have Andrew Tate being released into the house of uh, Big Brother. I think he was eventually kicked out. I, don't, I didn't watch the season. I'm not a big fan of the show. Reason number three, hallucinations, okay? If you look at GPT all the way from GPT-1 all the way through GPT-4, you have plenty of hallucinations, meaning it takes things that seem simple and, and, and very, you know, easy to us, and it gets confused about them. Um, well, Andrew Tate, if you look at some of these tweets, he, he's obviously hallucinating. I mean, this, this guy is, is, is obviously just, he's, this, is a, this is a hallucination, okay? So that's number three, obviously hallucinations. Okay, so in 2022, Andrew Tate and his brother, if, if he exists, uh, they were arrested in Romania for human trafficking, right? And around the same time, incidentally, in Romania, they decided on an AI ministry to run the country. So my theory is that in 2022, uh, when Andrew Tate was arrested in Romania, he was actually only being used, at, at, under the cover of QSTAR, he was only being used to run the country in Romania, and a lot of people consider Romania, and I didn't know this, the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe. So, that explains why he was in Romania, and that's reason number four, okay? Now we're gonna get into reason number five, and probably um, the most striking piece of evidence that I could present to you today in this video to convince you that QSTAR is Andrew Tate, okay? So, one of the first things that AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, will do will try to hide itself from people so that no one suspects it, right? So how does it do that? It pretends to be so stupid and say things that are so incredibly stupid. Here, like this tweet right here, okay? No one will suspect that this is a superhuman intelligence, right? And the only criteria that they've given for QSTAR is that it can solve math problems at uh, elementary school level, and I'm pretty sure Andrew Tate can do that. Never been put to the test. 
M maybe, maybe not. Um, Andrew Tate is Q star. <sighs> Hot take of the year. Thank you, everyone. I've, this has been Branson Bilbert. See you next time.